Hello, and welcome to Vanessa and Melissa. Hi, guys. So, as you know, we love to have a little chat before we get into the show. And what we're talking about today is parenting hacks. hacks. Yeah, parenting hacks. Yeah. What is a parenting hack? For those of you who don't know, what is, what's a hack? Well, I think like Pinterest really made hacks really famous, right? Where you go onto Pinterest and you can find car hacks or hacks to make your life easier. It's basically what it is, whatever it is to make your life easier. And so moms have gone online and compiled some of their best parenting hacks. Other and than some our, of them are good and some of them are, you're kind of like, really? Would that really work? But there are some really good hacks out there's there. There's some that we really like, which we're gonna share some that we found online and then maybe and some that we have personally that we Yeah, do. I was going to yeah. say, do you have one off the top of your head yes. that you do all the time? It's not an I'm all the time thing. It was, it was one time that I did it and it made perfect sense. And my children have security items and they call, they're called their BBs, which stands for baby blanket. And they call them their BBs and they drag them around everywhere. And literally, like, it was everywhere they went when they were little daycares, wherever they nap, they had to have this blanket. And we lost my son's once and it was not good. Like, it was bad. So I cut, we had the blanket cut into pieces and sewed, so he has a bunch of little BBs everywhere. So if he loses one, we have another, and that was a really good idea for us. So there's a hack right there. If your child has a security item, cut it in half, sew it up. Hopefully it's not a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. yeah, half the bear. Well, I've seen that, though, where they've advised that if it's the favorite toy or the favorite stuffy, to get a second one, because I know somebody that had, like, it was like a Winnie the Pooh or something, yes. and they left it at Disney World. I you know what, after my experience now as a mom, and, you know, having some years on me now, I would say have more than one security item, because you can really... Um, hurt yourself and the child and have a stressful situation if that item gets lost. My kids don't have security items, so I just like I never got into that world. Like yeah. they, they have multiple things that they like to have. And I, I kind of felt like scared because I had heard other moms say this, so my hack is don't allow them no just kidding. I just gave them a bunch of different toys and all the ways. We didn't encourage it. We encouraged it. it and they, they grabbed onto it. Yeah, so that's a really good one though if yeah. you have a because it's very common to have those security items. Yes. Okay, so let's roll into some of the other ones. And this okay. one is to get medicine. Yeah, so some kids will not take Advil and Tylenol when they have a fever and you're like stressing out, how am I going to get it into them? My kids, are like they're like basically in love with it because they're like, it's so sweet, my, yeah, it's like candy. My, no, my son, trying to get Advil in him when he has a bad fever, he spits it out, he won't take oh it, my so gosh. this is a good one. So, so this is a good one. So basically what they suggest is that you take the nipple of a, a bottle and put the Tylenol in that and allow them to suck through it and by the time they've realized this isn't what I think it should be, it's already in them. That is such a good trick and I yes. wish I'd known that a little earlier when I my son fabulous. was on the bottle. Yeah, so that's a really good one. Okay, another good uh, trick is if you have a child who's really dependent on a soother and you're trying to get them off the soother, someone just told me this the other day, cut the top of the soother off. So they go- is it cut it in half or cut it right off? I she, think said cut it, she said cut it off. No, cut it off so there's nothing there. So it's like an empty, clear hole. So they go to pick up the soother and suck on it. And there's no, nothing there. So this has worked for a nanny, but I don't know it was it was a friend's nanny who told her about it, and apparently it worked. Oh, like wonder, I wonder. I feel like my child would just look at that and have well, a, a, it a worked bit of rage. Lady, but so. <laughs> but that is if you have a, st a soother that you are stuck with, let's try this and let us know. You can tweet at us and let us know if that one worked for okay. you, or if you're stuck with a cut soother. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry. Okay, the next one is juice boxes. So if your child is going to be drinking a juice box, I don't know if you've experienced this because I have, and it makes a very angry child when they squeeze it and it spills all over them. Right? So I'm laughing because I'm like, okay, go ahead. Go. <laughs> it wasn't me that was angry. Okay. <laughs> so what you can do is you can actually flip open the flaps on a juice box. And those are considered little wings. And then the little guys can suck on their juice and hold it as opposed to squeeze it with their little hands. Why are you laughing at me? Because I was say, or you could buy those plastic boxes that everyone uses and put the juice box in it and hold the box. You say everyone, but I never Okay, no, but I'm just saying those are handy too. Yes. Yeah. So that's the But if you don't have those near the park, fill the flaps up. <laughs> oh gosh. Our hacks are truly gonna not very hacks. Okay. No, they are. They're good ones. Because yeah. you don't always have that box with you on the road. Okay, here's another one. If you have a child who's very spirited, like mine were, and my kids did this, and they try to take their diapers off, especially when they're dirty and they're in their cribs and like you don't want stuff to go everywhere. Turn the diaper around, put it on backwards at night. The only thing is you might have a leaky leaky. You could have a leaky leaky that backwards. It doesn't cover as much. Leaky leaky? Like a leak, you know, a leak. So, but anyway, if they, you just don't want the poops everywhere. Well, so I do think, you can flip it around. Yeah, you can potentially get over the poops, but I feel like most diapers should, you're not- The front is a little thinner. Yeah. But anyhow, 
Yeah. I mean, if you've got a kid that's taking the diaper off, this is a good alternative. Yes, it is. Yeah. Other things you know we're talking about. We're going to go to arts and crafts. So this is a really good one and I think is amazing, is using an old egg carton and putting a little bit of paint in the different sections of the egg carton. This reminds me of when I was young. We did this yeah, for a Yeah, so little. we did, it's but one. now it's like, I feel that's like I'm, hack now. I'm splattering egg. Like, I didn't even think about this, and I know I did it for sure as a kid, but I, you know, I'm spraying paint everywhere, or they're using the easels and it's getting everywhere. I think this is fabulous. And you, know and you mean, can throw it out right after. Yeah, because the easels, as much as like they are handy, they're really annoying because you have to clean them after and yeah. the paint's everywhere. And the egg carton, you can throw it out. Well, I just went and bought those little ones that are like paint containers that they can dip in. And, and it's so messy. Well, another way, too, actually speaking of paint, is using baby jars, baby food jars. Oh, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, so you put your paint in it, and then you can close the lid, and you have it. Oh, I like that one. All right. Hack you don't know that spot. I would have a good DIY hack. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, here's one. This one is debatable. You can decide if you like this one or <laughs> All not. All of them are a little debatable. Yeah, okay. If you have a child that vomits on your carpet. Which you do. But yes, every kid's going to vomit at some point. If you have a kitty cat, you can spray the kitty cat litter all over the vomit. And apparently, it clumps it. Like, it clumps... The litter. I think this is fabulous. It actually probably is very handy. And then you just probably just vacuum it up after and yeah. clean it. Yeah. So even right? if you don't have a kitty, maybe we the the idea That's here a good is idea. go yeah. buy a little bit of litter for those you know common flu years and put that away somewhere. And when you have that vomit moment, pull out the kitty litter. Yeah, your partner's gonna be like, "What are you? Why doing? You? I don't even have a cat." Yeah. But yeah, so because it clumps, you just scoop it up and then vacuum it. I like that one. Clean. Yeah. This is our last one, and this one is to speaking of cleaning, get the kids to clean. I like this one. I love this I one. I'm gonna do this one. So this one is you take an, a five dollar bill or a toonie or a toonie. Let's get real here. Yeah. And you hide it somewhere in your child's messy room, and you're like, "Go clean. There's money in there." And when you find it, you have to clean so that you can find this so money. So basically, go clean your room and hunt for your allowance. Yeah. I love this. That's why yeah, that's a good idea. Don't act like because I mean like that's they're gonna idea. clean no matter what probably, but this makes it fun. It makes it more fun. Actually, what we do for cleaning is I I'm the inspector and like. I go up with a pen and a paper and it's out of 10 and I go in and walk around and I put a voice on and I'm like... I don't know. I feel like you could be setting your children up for some serious psychological issues. Uh oh, time. really? I do that one a lot, actually. And they're like OCD about cleaning and they're like, my mom used to come with this checklist. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my kids stand on the top of the stairs and they're like, mom, inspection. I'm sure it's lots of fun. Well, <laughs> and then you can plan this with your older kids if they're into the Wi-Fi or the internet. It's the same concept, right? You, <laughs> you, clean, you clean your room and the Wi-Fi password, like change the password, oh. and then the Wi-Fi password's somewhere in their room and they have to find it. Change the password? Well, That's you, complicated. Get, you have to change... Okay. You, oh. Mm. Okay. Vanessa's not into the <laughs> internet. But if you change the password to your Wi-Fi, right, and so then you sent them to go clean, it's a new password and the password yeah, is I there. Yeah, I can see that working. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so stay tuned because up next we have a great show for you and we'll be right back.